How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today I'm going to be showcasing the Weber and Wire Spider vinyl figures from Funko Pop for Don't Starve. Now this is number 404 in the Don't Starve collection from Funko Pop. 401 is Wilson, 402 is Wendy, 403 is Willow, and 404 is uh, Weber. Now, Weber is a very popular choice and uh, it's basically a little boy inside a spider suit in case you're wondering why a spider exists in the Don't Starve universe. So a popular choice, and here you go. In terms of, in terms of the figurine itself, it's got a couple of additional legs out here. It's holding an egg. And then of course, here is the spider warrior who's going to protect Weber and protect and befriend. <clears throat> The stand seems fairly routine. Let's see if I can get it on here. This tends to be one of the uh, deciding factors. Do you break the figurine's leg trying to apply the stand? And in this case, it's not particularly looking very good. Look at this. Yes, indeed. Uh, and then the body is... What the... I've never seen this before. Can the other Funkos do this? The head can rotate on the body? Seriously? Well, um, I guess I'm gonna have to try that some more. But yes, the uh, hole is going to be, is going to need some more reaming, let's say, because this stand does not fit in the hole provided at the base of his foot, in ba at the base of Weber's foot. So that's a bit disappointing there. A bit of modification. I would say that so far, this is the only Funko that I've seen where this, this has been a problem. So it's promising that the other ones don't have this problem, but I'm a little bit disappointed in that. Lastly though, here is the exclusive umbrella skin for Weber. It's called Weber's Web Raleigh. This is at the moment of this recording, only the second reskin for the umbrella in Don't Starve Together. Yes, it's redeemed in Don't Starve Together, not in Don't Starve, and there's the code. To redeem the exclusive skin for DST for Weber, you're going to want to go to your item collection from the main menu and then click on redeem codes. Once you're here, you'll be able to scratch off the protective coating on the back of the card and enter in your 20 digit code, after which you'll be presented with a gift to open and reveal the Web Raleigh itself. You can later find the Web Raleigh here in the curio cabinet from the main menu. Go to the curio cabinet, then click on belongings and scroll down until Weber's Web Raleigh shows up. Uh, it's an elegant skin which is a change from the way these skins originally worked. Originally they were proof of purchase skins, but Clay has since changed them to elegance, and that means a couple of things. For one, you can unravel them into spools if you so wish, or you can uh, choose to buy and sell them on the Steam Marketplace. So the Web Brawley reskins the umbrella, and lastly here I'm going to give a brief demonstration in-game of how Weber's Web Brawley works and what it looks like. For this demonstration here, I'm going to be using Weber for obvious reasons, and in front of me you can see all three various umbrella skins in their resting form when you don't have them equipped. To craft your very own, you're going to want to go to Survival and then scroll down to the Umbrella, and then you can use the forward and back tabs here to select from any of your various umbrella skins. For me, I have the classic skin as well as here's the Web Raleigh itself. So this is what the Web Raleigh looks like. Compared to the others, this is the brightest looking umbrella. This is the original umbrella. Gives you an idea of what the original looks like versus the Web Raleigh. And you can tell it's a skin that's designed and textured to look uh, very similar to, to either silk, spider webs, or Weber's fur here. You can tell it's a very jagged looking uh, handle that Weber's holding there compared to especially the original. Even though that was a little bit rough, this one's decidedly rougher and the texture is much similar to Weber's outfit itself. With that demonstration out of the way, let's get back to the unboxing. So interestingly enough, and I did not notice this when it, back when I first unboxed Wilson, but Wilson can do a 360 rotation of his head as well, even though the torch does briefly come into contact with the back of his head or his hair right here. So interestingly, both of the male characters can do a full 360 uh, for these Funko Pops, but both of the female characters, in the case of uh, Willow, it's completely glued. Like, I do not want to risk rotating this because it seems really well glued together. And then Wendy is blocked because her shoulders hit her braids. 
So that is, uh, that's pretty interesting, I think. I'm not exactly sure if that was intentional or if that was just a byproduct of the design. Uh, the Spider Warrior itself is pretty stable. Uh, seems to be a little bit tilted forward more. I think the be a little bit nicer if the face could be seen more easily, but yeah, it does the job. So overall, that is Weber. Uh, I will have to try and figure out a way that I can get this stand on his foot. I'll probably just use a drill bit and drill the indent in his foot out a little bit more. I'm not exactly sure why it's such a problem here. I guess the manufacturing process did not fully ream that, that hole out. And that is the Weber and Warrior Spider vinyl figures for Don't Starve from Funko Pop. Thank you very much for watching as always, and I hope to see you next time.